Hi, I'm Jeremy and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to install an Ubuntu Server 18.04 LTS in a VM followed by the Windows offline updater tool that runs in Linux as well as on Windows. We're going to install the Linux version tonight. So let's get started and this again is a start to finish look at this solution. All right, we'll start up our virtual machine and start the install process for Ubuntu server. Go ahead and select English and defaults. Install Ubuntu DHCP for IP version four. No proxy. Use entire disk, the virtual box disk, and continue. done and we'll let it run through the rest of the install. All right, we're ready to reboot. Make sure the disk image is in fact out of the drive. We start. We'll grab the IP address upon completion of the restart, and then we'll use the Mac terminal to connect via SSH and move forward with the rest of our process. And we're at what for an IP address? 172.16.74.151. So we will launch the Mac terminal. And we'll blow this up a little bit larger so everybody can read it better. Okay, so we've got a clean install of Ubuntu server. We've not run any updates and we have nothing so far in our home directory. What we're gonna do is we're gonna download using wget, the WSUS offline updater wget and download wsusoffline.net 
WSUS offline 114.zip and enter. And that was pretty quick. So we'll clear that screen again. And we will do unzip WSUS. Uh, okay, we don't have unzip installed. We'll fix that here in short order. And we are unzipped. So we'll go into WSUS offline and do an LS. We need to go into the SH directory. All right, let's see if we can get these dependencies installed. And we say yes. And it'll go ahead and install our dependencies. This should only take a minute or so. All right. All right, let's try this again. All right, now that we've got that run, go ahead and list our files. We've got our executable files showing up in green, the bash scripts. So we want to do get all updates. Actually, back up a minute, we're gonna do update generator dot bash and it'll run through grab some information And it should present us with a menu here. For the sake of this demonstration, we're going to grab updates for Windows 10 64-bit. So we enter in number nine. There are also the options of doing all Windows and Office versions, 32 and 64-bit, uh, just all Windows, all Windows X64. For the sake of keeping this video as short as possible, we're just going to do Windows 10 64 bit. So 9, enter. We're going to do English 2. Service packs, yes. Visual C runtime, yes. .NET, yes. Windows Defender definitions, yes. Execute now, yes. And this will go through and get our updates that we need. Now, the great thing about this is you can have a Linux server running on your network. You can have all the Windows updates and Office updates come to that server. And then you can have your Windows machines update over your network without needing an internet connection. Uh, update from that other computer from the Linux based computer. This can be very handy if you're supporting a lab of computers or if you're in an area that does not have reliable high speed internet. You could go somewhere that has high speed internet and download this with your virtual machine and then you go set up to update your network and it doesn't take you nearly as long. So. I'm not going to make you wait and sit through this uh, whole process. Uh, this will take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. It could take longer or a shorter amount of time than what it's taking me here. With all that in mind, we've reached the end of another practical IT video. 
If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications of new videos. Please comment below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.